Long lines and long wait times here all to get a COVID test. And that comes as new cases hit another record high in the Commonwealth. The latest on this current COVID surge is our top story on Newswatch 16 at 6. Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. As COVID cases continue to reach new heights here in Pennsylvania, many are getting in line to get tested. As Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strew found out, if you want to test, you better be prepared to wait. This is the line to get a drive through COVID test at Kirby Park in Wilkesbury. And although this may be a daunting sight, officials in emergency management say this is for the best. It's a, it's a tremendous relief to have Kirby Park and the city of Wilkesbury allowing us to be in here. I'm telling you right now, this is moving a lot smoother than yesterday, and we are very happy with this. Previously, the testing was taking place at Penn Plaza on South Main Street in Wilkesbury but it was not fit to handle the volume of people coming through. What we did yesterday is I took a poll of, uh, of people actually coming out for a test. The majority of them are coming here because they need a negative test to return to work, to get on an airplane to return home from the holidays, and there have been a few students that need a negative test to return to school. Sheriff's deputies and EMA staff are able to put together a better traffic pattern here. If you get in line at Market Street, the wait for a test is close to three hours. That is correct. We're doing about 60 an hour and it's about two hours and 40 minutes wait once you enter off of Market Street. If you need to get into this line, officials say please remember a form of identification as it is required for the test. This site will be open weekdays this week from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Wilkesbury.